What's up guys, it's Gunscorch here, and uh, I, I have an update for the uh, the shirt and stuff like that, the clothing, stuff that I was going to do. So, I have this, right? Built built by me, this, the pants were just a retexture, uh, the vest was, you know, a vest which you can replace the mesh and doesn't mess anything up. Uh, and then the shirt I actually edited and added mesh to it and custom UV mapped it with its own separate texture and everything. However, I got it so that in Unturned, on the main screen under Workshop, under uh, Error Logs or whatever, it doesn't show up as anything's over there. So, error logs. It doesn't show up that anything's up here. Reload, still nothing. Which means that there's nothing wrong with the mod. However, for whatever reason, the vest is in the same spot as the other vest. the vest if we drag this bag in here. Like that right there, that's in the same spot. Same location and orientation. And it's the orange sweater vest. So why it doesn't work or why it's offset backwards, I don't know. There's there's no offset data in the DAT file. Uh, so that that could be fixed because it's offset back and down a little, and it's a little wide. Just because that was that was what the shirt was. The shirt was a little wide in the uh, 3D model, but. Yeah, we have... Oh, I forgot to change that to Mythical. But, uh... But yeah, when we put on the, the pants, this is a retexture, but I edited it in... I edited it... However you say that word, I made it edits... in paint. So all... So everything's white here... was... uh... transparent. So even if we go to material and we go cut out, it still reads it as white because paint doesn't deal with transparent textures. Uh, you need like Photoshop or something. So when we put this on, it paints the entire character white, and then the pants the pants color because this entire person, the entire character mesh is UV mapped to if I can find it I should have a picture of it somewhere uh, unturned this this is the entire body is UV mapped to this so uh, front of the chest back of the chest stuff like that left leg so I, I don't know this uh, I don't know. just I don't know I think this has to do with the head and stuff like that I think that's got to do with the uh, kind of the flat faces on the arms and the legs but the shirt and the pants are both UV mapped to that so they could both use the same exact texture And if we unequip that and equip the shirt, that texture has multiple different colors all over the texture. Because that one That one looks like that. That one's custom, I made that. So it tries to UV map 
all those different squares to exactly what this is. So when we equip it, like it looks fine here, and if you drop it on the ground, it looks fine. But when you equip it, yeah. Yeah. Just, just, yeah. <laughs> No idea how to fix this, there's no errors. I really don't want to deal with the unturned Discord server anymore because, you know, this, this vest right here. Right? These shotgun shells, this is a default blender cylinder. And like, that, that doesn't look really high poly. But they were like, oh, the shotgun shells should have like five sides. And it's like, bruh. It's not a circular shotgun shell, then. It's like, I can see... Yeah, I could have left that out. Like, the, the ball or the hammer hits. And... Stuff like that. Like, I, I could have left that out. But... Like, they, they were yelling at me for that. It's like, bruh, if it was... If I was going high quality, I'd subdivide that at least two more times. Make it, like, 200 polygons. Or faces. So. But yeah, I'd... I don't know, because I'd have to make the texture... According to... Because... Oh yeah, and even that, it doesn't replace the mesh. Because there's no collar, there's none of that stuff. There's no emblem thingy. Which is all part of the mesh. So therefore, I don't know how to... Like, I, I guess the pants kind of work, because that's just a retexture, but I've I seen somebody else's 2020 video of that, so I'll put a link to that in the description so you guys can at least watch that and at least know how to make your own custom textured things. Uh, but, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I made this thing, uh, like, the shirt and the vest took me probably combined about two weeks. Or no, the shirt took me two weeks. That The vest took me about another week. Just because I was learning how to use Blender and it was like, it, it was frustrating because I didn't know how to do stuff. I wanted, I knew how I wanted to do it in my head, but I couldn't figure out how to do it in Blender. But then I found some tutorials to help me out, so hopefully we'll get some, uh, some custom melee weapons. Stuff like that, weapons, guns, ARs, stuff like that. But But yeah, I just figured I'd make a video updating you guys on the situation and to say that I'm sorry, but I don't know how to put custom mesh shirts into unturned, which is like the main thing. Like if you can do that, you can do just the retexture. Um, but I guy did a shirt retexture, so I'll, like I said, I'll put a description, or I'll put a link to in the description of his video, so you guys can at least go check that out, and this way you're not just left hanging with nothing in the balance, um, so yeah. Sorry to disappoint, but it's, it, it's, it's very tedious. But, uh, yeah, that'll be it for this, I guess. Uh, working on a Warframe stuff, actually, I'll give you, I'll, I'll give you all a sneak peek. If, if you stayed this long in the video, I'll give you all a sneak peek. Uh, so what do we got here? We got that stuff, that stuff. What do we got? We got some Apex Legends stuff, Alternator. 
ports. We need the other one. Completed. Alternator with the sight and the mag. Um, I don't think that texture split. I think it's just. Oh, yeah, it's just lighting. Don't worry about that. That's just lighting. It's reflecting differently. But we got that, and then we got the uh, custom legendary like wasteland skin on this one. Uh, I tried to match the damage output like the damage statistics and fire rate and stuff as best I could with that of um, Apex uh, so magazine magazine for the R99 alternator iron sights these ones actually have custom UV mapped HUD and stuff uh, these ones I don't think do no, cause that's just that's just straight up looking through that and I did look at a few of the uh, the scopes and stuff like that and Scopes do have the, uh, so like, here for example, it's a short ways up from the bottom of the site, and like, right in line with the end of it. So, that, like, that's where the center point is. Uh, so we put site up here. Drag this out. Like their site node is dead center on the very bottom or the very back side and in the middle. And then theirs is actually slightly up, but they have extra mesh like extended out so that it, the the site it's guaranteed not to float. So if some if some site nodes on some weapons are a little higher than others, then they they can have the reach. Um, so that's all I got for Apex right now. Uh, Born Beast I got Crossfire's AK-47. That's my ranged my ranged weapon mod. Then I have the knife. Uh, I'm doing. I'm gonna do the Desert Eagle, and I'm gonna see about doing this sniper. Uh, I looked a little bit into the scopes, like 16x and stuff. Uh, fall into Vegas pack. We have a bed, which I actually have to change the item size of because that's that's just ridiculous. 0 0.5. We're we're gonna go. Yeah, that works. Just because before when you picked it up, it was ginormous and you couldn't see anything. Oh. Redo box collider. Zero point two. There we go. So now the bed's done. Let's 
on the play right now, so I'm to desktop. Uh, we have a military crate. I'm gonna show you stuff in here. That, that, that's nothing. Uh, we have a vault tech crate that I found. Uh, a wooden crate, I figure that look kinda, kinda like an ammo box crate. Uh, fuels, we have a custom jerry can. We have the super sledge. We have Vault 101 Canteen. We have a Platinum Chip from Fallout New Vegas. And we have a Nuke Grenade. Those those might be from Fallout New Vegas. Uh, GTA 5 vehicles, these are already out. Uh, ran into a shader issue getting the... Uh, the quadra in there. Uh, ran into a shader issue getting the... Uh, Gauntlet Health... Fire, I want to say. Um, custom plane from somebody who bought who bought it from me. Uh, that was the truck that somebody bought from me. Makeshift bicycle. Uh, this one actually just got released yesterday, I want to say. But this is so like the makeshift vehicles and stuff. How it's like a barricade and you put it down and it instantly explodes into the vehicle. Yeah, you can build the bicycle now. Some guy requested it, and within like half an hour, I had it done. Uh, some more police vehicles. This somebody wanted uh, miscellaneous. This is just uh, angel wings. Got some angel wings. Future ammo crate. Future crate. That one looks pretty cool. Uh, turbine generator. A generator that looks like a turbine. I don't know. Uh, mis the miscellaneous stuff. I want to point out that this is just I'm, when I do a model and it doesn't fit into any of these other categories. I'm just throwing it in there, uh, and then I'm gonna sort them out accordingly. So I might do like a barricades or like a like a storage crate or something, a bundle or whatever. Uh, med kit. You can't actually see that. There we go. Med kit, futuristic med kit. E. They look pretty cool. It's like, yep, download. Uh, forge axe. This stuff has got the orange stuff glowing as emissive. Uh, same thing with this one. Most of this is actually emissive, except for like the black stuff, I think. But the blade's like a little excessively emissive. Then the Warrior Axe, that's from the Melee tutorial. Uh, throwables, a Flash Pumpkin, a Pumpkin Flare, and a Pumpkin Grenade. Uh, notice how the custom bang sound. This is five seconds long. However, it doesn't run through the whole audio because the Flash Bang it it, it kind of disappears before the audio is done, so the audio kind of cuts out at about there-ish. Maybe there. I don't know. It, it cuts off somewhere in here, so it doesn't finish the whole thing. I was thinking about seeing about uh, maybe taking it to like here and then just chopping that section of the audio off. But uh, yeah, it's the uh, it's the demonic witch sound from GTA. Shouldn't be too terrible loud. Sorry if it is. Uh, headphone ear rape warning. Yeah, I was sort. I was like, I need an audio sound for this thing that that's cool. I was like, you GTA's got audio sounds, and I know where those are, so we'll go look through those. And then I and then I clicked on that one, and I'm like, yes. It's like when you click on something, and you know, yes. That's the one I'm using. Uh, so, honestly, I don't know what I want to do with this. I don't know if I want to upload it to, like, Google Drive or something like that and put a link in the description to it. I'll probably end up doing that. I'll probably put it in the description and just, if someone knows what they're doing and knows how to put custom mesh into Unturned, then y'all can just take it. I give you permission. Uh, actually, I'll throw a credits file in there, 
just a text document in case you guys wanna give credit to me for doing the mesh and learning how to use Blender. Um, but yeah, now time to time to go see about finishing up the uh, them. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.